so main task in synthesis of chlorothiazide is to construct this benzo thia diazine fuse heterocyclic ring structure so how it is constructed let's concentrate now we are going to start with three chloroaniline so one two three you know aniline phenyl ring attached to um, nh2 group is aniline and at third position so it is chlorine so it is three chloroaniline it is reacted with chlorosulfonic acid okay chlorosulfonic acid so chlorosulfonic acid was again used for the synthesis of which compound in earlier one compound you have used chlorosulfonic Chloro acid chlorosulfonic yes 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 and when chlorosulfonic acid is uh, reacted in such reaction condition where we are having an aromatic ring it undergoes electrophilic aromatic substitution electrophilic aromatic substitution where sulfur is an electrophile where sulfur is an electrophile now i will try to draw the structure of uh, lewis structure of chlorosulfonic acid so that you can understand how the electrophilic substitution takes place so this is sulfur okay so what it is having three oxygen one two bond and this is third bond and three oxygens like this okay this is third oxygen yes three oxygens yes and there is one chlorine chlorine this is chlorine okay cl so try to understand that it is a chlorine now double bond two oxygens are bonded with double bond what is this s so3 s so3 okay there is one h also so one of the oxygen is attached to h so this is chlorosulfonic acid lewis structure of chlorosulfonic acid now what happens when chlorosulfonic acid it is a acid because this oxygen can donate a proton it is an acid that's why it is called as chlorosulfonic acid self protonation or some other acidic media when other stronger acid can also be utilized the protonation what happens the protonation of this oh oxygen takes place because it is having two non bonded pair of electron and in it may be a self protonation suppose there are 100 molecules of chlorosulfonic acid they are releasing a proton some some of the uh, chlorosulfonic molecules and will undergo protonation so protonation will takes place oxygen will acquire positive charge and it will break bond with sulfur are you understanding so water will get out oh2 water will get out what will happen to sulfur sulfur is electrophile s plus then if water get dehydrated then sulfur is s plus okay so this ring 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 uh, aromatic ring is it will act as a source of electron and it will push its electron pair towards the sulfur an aromatic ring is going to form a bond with sulfur that depends upon which position of aromatic ring attachment see two so2 cl group has got attached at this position two so two positions of phenyl ring has undergo electrophilic aromatic substitution why this only why this why not this and this why not this and this the reason is that the reason is that already this phenyl ring is substituted by amino group and cl in the case in the case although nitrogen is more electronegative chlorine is more electronegative still still if they are attached to aromatic ring they are said to be electron releasing because chlorine is having three non bonded pair of electron nitrogen is having one non non one non bonded pair of electron it shares its electron pair with aromatic ring okay and when that type of sharing takes place then ortho and para positions are having greater density of electron i repeat when electron releasing group that may be halogen when they are attached to aromatic ring and amino group which are electron releasing group okay in the case of electrophilic aromatic substitution then there is greater density of electron on 
para and ortho position so if you consider this group amino group what is the para position this is the para position which is the ortho position this is the ortho position this is the ortho position okay this is ortho position if you consider chlorine this is the ortho position okay and this is the para position so you can consider now these two position this and this one are having greater density of electron they are having greater density of electron that's why electrophilic aromatic substitution takes place at these two position so you you get two so2cl so2cl group attached at this position then the things become simple it is treated with ammonia this compound this intermediate is treated with ammonia ammonia is going to substitute it will attack sulfur and chlorine will get out okay here also ammonia will attack sulfur and chlorine will get out as chloride ion okay it will get out so minus hcl two cl molecule hcl molecules will get eliminated now nh3 will become nh2 so2 nh2 so2 nh2 now things are clear now cyclization is going to be happen in the presence of formic acid kya use karte hai formic acid because now you look here we what we want what we want what we want is see there is one element sulfur second element nitrogen there is one nitrogen okay two carbon 1 2 3 4 5 five elements are present to form a cycle just we want one carbon one carbon okay so it is reacted with formic acid both these amino group this nitrogen and this sulfonamido nh2 they are going to react with formic acid c double bond o o h okay o h and here it will be h h c o o h okay that carbonyl group of formic acid and two molecules of water c double bond o o o h will get eliminated so minus h 2 o minus h 2 o yes minus h 2 o two molecules dono oxygen jo formic acid ke hai they will get eliminated in the form of water and what will remain there will be a ch 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 so that ch this is this ch okay this is this ch will get incorporated and we will get a we will get a six member heterocyclic ring fused to benzene ring and already these two substitutions are present on the phenyl ring that is sulfonamido and chlorine you will get chlorothiazide you will get chlorothia 